and please don't judge because you know how it feels like especially even though how hard you try to stop yourself from buying books but then when you saw something on sale it's really cheap Joel Bisaya Reader, welcome to another video and for today we are going to do a massive book haul. And yes, you heard it right, massive, because in this video I'm going to present to you a lot of books that I recently got. Um, some of these were given to me, some of course I bought. And please, don't judge because you know how it feels like, especially even though how hard you try to stop yourself from buying books, but then when you saw something on sale, it's really cheap. Of the books that you've been wanting to purchase or to have for a very long time, it's really hard to stop yourself and especially if you do have those friends who are really getting to your nerves and moments that you've been trying or doing your best to discipline yourself financially <laughs> even though how hard you tried to, stop, to tell yourself that I need to stop buying books because I have a lot of books on my shelf that I haven't read yet and I don't have enough money. We're not rich, we're poor. And um, buying books is the list of our concerns, list of our priorities. But these friends have been sending you private message and then, hey, I think you might like this. But anyways, let's just dive right into the books because this will be a really long video. So we'll start, I don't know where to start, but we'll start with those that were given to me lately. Um, I got three books directly from the authors. The first one, I got it from a local author named Katrina Olan, and this is Tablai. I actually got two copies for this, but I did not open the, the other one because those uh, the, that one copy is going to be for a giveaway. So in case you haven't joined the giveaway, if you want a copy of Tablai by Katrina Olan, this is a young adult, um, science fiction slash fantasy uh, you might be the next winner of the signed copy for this just leave a comment below uh why do you want to join or why do you want to own a copy and uh, don't forget to use the hashtag sugod bagong bayani and yeah uh i am going to read this next after my current read what i'm currently reading right now is elantris by brandon sanderson thank you so much Atikat. The next books I have here are were also given to me directly by the author. I got this from J.S. Lacho. This is books one and two of the series. This is the third below. And um, the books, second book is A Gallery of Mothers. And uh, this is a young adult dystopian fantasy. I got this because the author sent it to me as a gift via Amazon. I will be reading this really soon. I've heard a lot of good things about these books. Thank you so much, Jason. The next book I got here are basically um, some books that I regret buying and some books that I'm really, really happy I finally own. And um, the first one is going to be Fire. And I regret buying this because I did not really like Graceling. I read Graceling as the fourth book in my YH Binge-a-thon is the first book I read in August. I also body read Graceling together with my some bookish booktuber friends and book friends from Twitter and we are having a book talk later tonight I'm really excited but anyways this one is the second book or a companion book of Graceling I did not really like Graceling I gave it two stars but anyways I still have this but I might be selling this or I don't know what will happen I'm not really excited to have this and to read this so this will be on my shelf for a very long time The next book I have here is The House of Leaves by Mark Danielski. I got this from one of a local reader here in Cebu. Uh, I got it for a very cheap price, like I think 200 pesos. It's a large paperback, 200. I've heard a lot of good things about this one. This is an adult horror thriller. And um, I've the people that I've been following on the Booktuber community have good reviews uh, about this book. So. I'm pretty excited to read this. The next book we got here is City of Thieves by David Benioff. In case you don't know, David Benioff is the screenplay writer of Game of Thrones. And I am really, really happy that I finally was able to have this uh, book. Uh, I used to have the, uh, a copy of this book a couple of years ago, but it was a different edition. It was a larger paperback, not a mass market paperback like this one. It was the red edition with a chicken on the cover. 
a friend of mine borrowed it and never returned it so shout out to you friend i still love you but anyways i've been planning to purchase a copy for this for the past couple of years and i got this from shopee for 100 pesos like this is my all-time favorite and i got a copy of my all-time favorite for 100 pesos the next book i have here is the sympathizer by viet thang nguyen in case you don't know, I've been trying to explore on the genre literary fiction for the past couple of months and probably start, started exploring last year. And uh, I've also been collecting Pulitzer Prize winner books and this is a Pulitzer Prize winner way back in 2016 or 2017. I'm really bad at dates but anyways, I got this for a really really cheap price. It's a really in the perfect condition and good as new. And um, smells so good. Uh, the Sympathizer of Vetya Vet Nguyen is actually a thriller. Um, under a thriller genre and I'm pretty excited to read the Pulitzer Prize winner under a thriller genre so um, thank you so much I forgot who sold this to me but I got this uh, I, I, I bought this uh, online and I didn't really expect that uh, the next books I have here are actually something that I didn't really I did not really expect I have the first and two books of the Dandelion Dynasty uh, by Ken Liu. I know Ken Liu is a Hugo and Nebula Award winner author. The first book is The Grace of Kings and the second book is The Wall of Storms. These books are huge guys and I got this for a very cheap price online also. Um, this are, these books are adult fantasy. I used to, uh, I got this from Raf. The Royal Polar Bear, and I got this from Shopee, The Wall of Storms. So, with regards to the story of what these books are all about, I actually don't have any idea, but I've heard a lot of mixed reviews, so I'm quite intrigued what I'm going to feel about these books after reading them. Uh, the, sec the third book is not out yet. I don't know if it's going to be a trilogy or a series, but um, it's good to have the first two books of the series. And um, I'll just have to deal with how to acquire the third copy once it's out. But at this moment, it still doesn't have any cover or it's still not out yet. So, and look at these guys. They really look good on my shelf. Another adult fantasy books. The next book I have here in front of me is I got it from Author Reader. Um, I got this together with Fire, I think. And this is Finally Side by Robert Jackson Bennett. This is another adult fantasy. And um, what I was not really expecting is that the copy that I got is actually an art or an uncorrected proof. I've heard a lot of good things about this and we've also heard a lot of bad things about this book. But again, this is under adult category and fantasy genre. With regards to the story, I'm just going to avoid knowing what the story is all about, what the synopsis is all about. Because most of the time, I'm going to purchase books, I'm going to read books based on the recommendations of my bookish friends and based on the uh, reviews of the people I follow on booktube and the people I follow on Instagram. So most of the people I trust when it comes to the taste of adult fantasy, they really love this. Not all, but some or mostly of them. So yep, I'm quite confident I'm going to love this also and this is still an ongoing series. What I'm just really really disappointed is that I got a really bad version or bad copy because the spine really looks awful. But anyways, I got this for 300-400 pesos, which is kind of cheaper compared to a brand new copy on Fully Book, which is a small paperback, not the, like this one, which is a large, for almost 900 pesos. But anyways, um, it is what it is. I already have it. I'm still going to read this and we'll decide if I'm going to sell this or look for a, a copy, a better copy or better edition and also going to continue to the series. The next book I have here, okay, actually these are books. This is the second and the third book of the Wolf series or trilogy. Uh, I already have Wolf for a very quite, uh, long time now and haven't read this. I got this from Big Bad Wolf. And this is the first book of the series. Now I finally completed the trilogy. And this is an adult under science fiction genre and is tagged as one of the best science fiction written by a European author um, even though if you're going to observe they are a different version or different different editions this is a normal paperback this is some with um, somewhat uh, the shift is somewhat on a mass paperback edition 
and this one is on the large paperback but um, I'm not going to complain I got this from the same store and both are really on a perfect condition for a very cheap price look at this dust copy guys it's like as white as powder and I think the author I mean the seller haven't even opened the pages yet because uh, it smells so good and it's really brand new and I got this for around 200 pesos yeah so really glad that I completed the series and um, yeah can't wait to binge read the trilogy soon hopefully before 2020 ends now the next book I have here is another Pulitzer Prize winner way back in 2004 and this is Middlesex by Jeffrey Eugenides, 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 I don't know. Uh, I've been wanting to really read and have a copy of this, but I was really surprised that it, there's a lot of cheap copies here in the Philippines. I encountered Jeffrey Eugenides when I read Virgin Suicide. Actually, I haven't read it. I did not finish it way back in high college because I have a friend named Tweety. Hi, Tweety, in case you're watching this. Uh, she's my classmate. She's a really, really good friend of mine. Uh, in pharmacy school, um, she's a great person. I miss you, Tweety. I hope to see you soon. And um, she is a big fan of Jeffrey Eugenize. And I still remember when we went to National Bookstore on the college when we were in college. She was really desperate and looking for Virgin Suicide, the Virgin Suicide book. It was like, what this Virgin Suicide is because she's really dying to have a copy. And I was so intrigued. And then after she read it, I tried to borrow it from her, and I did not really like it. And that's where I discovered Middlesex, which is partly um, one of the most famous um, works of the author. This is a winner of the Pulitzer Prize. I'm really happy to add it to my collection together with the Sympathizer, Les, All the Light Can I See, The Underground Railroad, which are these. I have also the Goldfinch. So, and um, yeah, the Stone Diaries. So I also have here Man Booker Prize collections and National Book Awards collections, hopefully soon. But yeah, I'm really prioritizing um, the Pulitzer Prize winner books because uh, based on my experience reading the Pulitzer Prize winner books, I always, always enjoyed and learned a lot of things from those books. So quite excited to really welcome these two to the family. Ooh. In case you have the, uh, some copies of Pulitzer Prize winner books, out there and you want to sell it to me please send me a message and yeah um, also I heard a lot of recommendations from my friends on Facebook and on Instagram but I also need to try um, books that won Nobel Prize in literature so yep I'm really open to that and I really really uh, welcome all your suggestions and recommendations I'm really happy uh, receiving those kinds of recommendations and uh, reading those kinds of message on my inbox so we're down to the last three books on this video and the last this next one is the storm uh, the storm before the storm I got this for a 100 pesos hardback cover and it's a bargain copy but it's good as new I got this uh, from one of my friends here in Cebu uh, it was just sent via Lalamove uh, together I, got, I think I got this together with um, the house of leaves um, this is a non-fiction book and a story or a documentary of how the Roman Empire ended and um, after seeing the prize for 100 pesos and after knowing what this book is all about well I can't really stop myself I just really need to read this because um, I think in some way in the future sometime we just really have to check some non-fiction books also because I think it would give us a different um, experience and also it will teach us a different lessons that we can't really learn from reading fiction books so I'm really glad to welcome this in the family and look at the spine shiny gold and black the next book I have here is I'm really really happy I finally have it because this is the last piece of my collection for Ken Follett this is Ken Follett Winter of the World I think this is a second book or a third book of the trilogy I've been looking for a copy of this one winter of the world for almost a year now because um i've been collecting his trilogies the historical fiction trilogies mind you i'm not a big fan of his thriller thriller mr thriller works um but with regards to his historical fiction works i am really looking forward especially the 
Pillars of the Earth. This is on the other trilogy, which is, I think, not related to Pillars of the Earth, but under the historical fiction genre. And um, weird is that out of the, there's two series, right? Or two trilogies, so a total of six books. All of these books, six books, are on different editions, different editions. And this one is the only mass paperback edition. The rest are hardback covers, um, large paperbacks, paperbacks, a different um, marketplace, like some are published in US, some in um, and UK. I think Pan is UK or US, I don't know. Let me just double check so that we can learn something new today. Pan Publishing is UK. So Pan is UK, British Library. The next book I have here, and actually the last book for this video, is going to be Rainbow Rolls Carry On. I purchased this because it's just cheap. And I don't plan on reading this, but I've been hearing a lot of good things or good reviews about this book. And this is a young adult fantasy. And I think I need to open my mind to what other people are enjoying reading. And I've heard a lot of people enjoying Carry On. And even though I've been avoiding young adult uh, books, uh, but I uh, enrolled myself to the young adult Binge Satan by Visayas Book Club. Up until the month of September so I'm running out of options of the young adult books I'm going to read so this will be a really great addition if you have read carry on guys by rainbow Rowell, I've heard this is a first book of the series or trilogy I don't know and their second book was wayward son um, if you've read this one and enjoyed it please leave some comment on the comment section below i would want to hear your thoughts about this book and tell me if i need to prioritize reading this one so that um yeah so that you're going to give me a motivation because honestly as of this moment while filming this i'm not really gravitating towards reading this book but yep you guys are awesome and i am pretty confident that you guys would be able to convince and change my mind so yep that's it guys those are the books that i got for the past couple of weeks probably almost two months because it's been a while since i presented to you my book haul but anyways thank you so much guys for your time and again please don't forget to join the giveaway of the blind by cat olad it's a signed copy not this one because this one is mine i have my name on it but the giveaway for the blind by cat olad it was it's already there uh, it's still sealed it's signed if you want to a win a copy of the blind by Kat Olan, please leave um, the reason why you want a copy on the comment section below even though if you've already joined in the previous video you still can leave a copy below for another entry so yep thank you so much and this one will end on the last day of July uh, sorry August and I'm going to we are going to reveal or announce the winner on my next video or next reading wrap-up which is my august reading wrap-up which will be published or posted on this channel on the first week of september so thank you so much guys my name is joel you beside reader keep safe thank you bye bye please like and subscribe pala and don't forget to share